Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you're doing great. Uh, today, I would like to quickly touch base on uh, a couple of points which I read from um, Les Brown. Les Brown is one of the greatest motivational uh, speakers, and then he always, in his um, speeches, he, I'm sure that you can feel that it's, you know, he speaks with a lot of energy and always comes from the heart and within the heart. So that, you know, whenever, if you hear his audios and videos, um, I'm sure you're going to lift up your spirit and that's how he influences you. So there are one, one important thing. You can read a lot of quotes, you know, we can see all, a lot of quotes from different people, from different leaders. Now, what matters most is how you take that quote to your life and make an action. So that's most important things. You can look at the quote and you can say, okay, you know, it's really inspiring. But then how you're taking it to your life and then how you're putting that in place and taking an action is what makes you difference. Um, you know, so that is something that I want you to take. And the second important uh, is that, you know, you can read histories of many people or you can be in the history book so that people can learn from you so that is something very profound uh, to understand in a bigger picture you know so a lot of time if you are into the positive motivational side and there are a lot of people that we read who are all being successful and then who achieved some great heights and there are some courses we take it and then we take it to the heart so you can also be part of uh, that when you leave this place and for the another f generations to come from learn from you for the good things what you did so that is something that you should always keep it and then most and most and most important thing is that that we uh, to see the results uh, we really need to take an action and ask yourself just two three things just to refer back whichever the stage you're in before you did apply for a driving license of be it a car or motorcycle how many things you did to get there is something that you should ask so that in the process you are not sitting at home and expecting your driving license to happen to you uh, there are many things you must have did on the process for you to get there same thing be it in your um, say if you're a graduate or a post graduation or else you got a job or something that you're doing it there are many things you did in the process for you to get there you didn't do the actual regular things you know say for example uh, when you're studying you're just basically focusing on studying it but to get to the work there is a shift in what you did for uh, your education to learn and for you to get the job there is a shift and actions and things what you did something different this is something that you need to do it for your life too so there are many things you can just think that what you achieve and reflect back on how many actions you take for you to get there probably there are failures you must have placed that's fine but then at least where you are to get where you are i'm sure there are some different actions you take uh, rather than the uh, regular uh, things that you were doing it so that's what it says that you know if you if you keep doing the same thing what you're doing it and expecting the different results is something that we cannot do it you know uh, when you reflect back and this is you already did that so this is something same thing applies moving future as well so something you want to achieve something different you want to do you need to change the behavior so change the actions change the things what you are currently doing it unless you don't take that action and take that step and then change in the shift of what you are doing uh, to get a different results you are not going to move further and you're not going to see the different results and then answers are all around us it doesn't matter which age you are in you just reflect and see the achievements you had and then just pause back for about say five years six years and what you used to do before and what shift did you change or what shift or what action you took for you to get those uh, you already achieved so this is something that you really need to reflect and there are many things that you can connect your life i'm sure you must have achieved many great things already smallest to the biggest so for you to see the different results you really need to take those actions and apply the same principles what you did past and then correct course of action if something you need to improve so stay well stay blessed and i'm sure that you know you need to take a shift for you to see better results don't 
expect i'm sure you must have read this quote many people many many leaders quoted this doing the same thing and expecting a different results is uh, nothing but a dream you're just on a dream line so reflect back all your achievements and see what shift did you do changes you did for you to get where you are and the same thing you need to apply stay well stay blessed and be good to good influence the people around thank you so much